in Paris. The astounding thing is that so many people stayed because it's the rain that postponed play earlier in the day really was quite significant. Almost nobody left. Tiebreaker, first set. Lund. Lund. Nice hustle there by John. You know, he made the dive for it, but couldn't stop that one. Both these players so understand the weight and gravity of every single point. This tiebreaker is more important, in my judgment, to McEnroe than it is to Lindell. McEnroe wins it. This match is wide open. If Lindell wins it, well... You wouldn't bet against him in the match, would you? <laughs> Mini break to Lendl in the tiebreaker. Two zip. What a save that was by McEnroe. It's really, that was a remarkable save. And those are the kind of shots that John hasn't been willing to go for in the last couple of years. But it was a questionable play trying to come in behind that shot. Forced to make it, he was forced to make as good a shot as he made to win the point. 2-2. Two, two. Still drizzling. change sides four points to two for McEnroe he has the mini break Lindell will serve one more <laughs> McEnroe 
McEnroe can win this point, 5-2 with two serves to follow, would probably do it for him. Lendl is starting to feel the pressure of getting in, in his first serve. because believe me, Lendl's second serve is a little shorter, of course, and not quite as, as hard as his first, but that is not an easy shot to make. 5-2. This whole match is about serving. for McEnroe. Lendl has to hold on to two here and then break one serve point of McEnroe's, the first one, to get even. We're going to stay with this match until it's conclusion or it gets too dark to play. First set, McNamara, tiebreaker, 7 6. 